The 15th Asian Junior Athletic Championships commenced. The President ended the official tour to Britain and Vatican. His Holiness, the Pope the Benedict XVI, has prayed for permanent peace in Sri Lanka. Navanidhan Pillay and Human Rights Council have been accused of working according to a pro-American political agenda. The NATO forces have apologized to Afghanistan over the death of civilians by an air raid. Let's take a look at the news in detail now. The 15th Asian Junior Athletic Championship commenced today on a very grand scale. Prime Minister D.M. Jayaratna was the chief guest at the inaugural function. The, chairmanship, the championship will be held until the 12th of this month at the Sukhothada Stadium in Colombo. This is the first time that an Asian Junior Athletic Championship is being held in Sri Lanka. Over 750 athletes from 34 countries are participating in the event. This includes over 100 athletes from Sri Lanka. 35 players from Japan, 26 from India are also participating. At the inaugural function, Mr. Mahinda Nandalit Gamage said that this championship being held in Sri Lanka is a historical one and due to establishment of peace in the country by President Mahinda Rajapaksa, it became possible to gather players from all over Asia and hold this event in this country. The Olympic lamp was led by the player C.P. Vijay Singh and H.M. Nimesha. The vice chairman of the Asian Athletic Association, Dalal Al Hamal, also attended the occasion. The Prime Minister officially declared open the championship tournament. To use this powerful say thank you, Mr. Suresh Kalmadi and the Council of Asia Association Major General Daya Ratnayake. I declare over the 15th Asian Junior, Junior Athletic Championship 2012. By the, Honorable DM Jaratna. Right. the leader of the Sri Lankan team, RM Shivanti Kumari Ratnaika, delivered the players' pledge. The inaugural ceremony was made colorful by musical and cultural events. The Secretary of the Asian Athletic Association, Maurice Nicholas, and several officials of the South Asian Athletic Association participated in the event. <laughs> President Mahinda Rajapaksa returned to the island today after concluding the official visits to the United Kingdom and Vatican. The President and his delegation left on the 4th of this month to attend the Diamond Jubilee celebrations of the Britain's Queen Elizabeth II. The President and the First Lady attended the welcome ceremony and the pageant which were held at the Buckingham Palace, welcome ceremony which was held at the Guild Hall and the religious function which was held at the St. Paul's Cathedral and took part at the banquet hosted by the Secretary General of the Commonwealth, Kamalesh Sharma. The President also held a discussion with the uh, British Prime Minister, David Cameron. The Secretary General of the Commonwealth, Kamala Sharma, also met the President. Mr. Sharma assured that full support of all Commonwealth countries will be provided to Sri Lanka. The President also held discussions with a group of British parliamentarians. They commended the development activities being implemented in Sri Lanka and assured the assistance for this process. The Maldivian President Mohammed Wahid also met the President in London and held cordial discussions. Upon ending the London visit, the President left for Rome for a two-day visit. The President was the special guest at the Vesak festival organized by the Sri Lankan Embassy in Rome. The Director General of the World Food and Agriculture Organization, George Graciano de Silva, also met the President in Rome. After that, the Sri Lanka delegation met His Holiness Pope Benedict XVI at Vatican. The Pope prayed for the permanent peace in Sri Lanka. The Sri Lankan nationals living in Italy also met the President during his Italian tour. Meanwhile, Sri Lankan Ambassador in Geneva, Tamara Kunaigam, has alleged that Navanidhan Pillay and the UN Human Rights Council are working according to the agenda of the United States and other powerful nations in the West. 
She has made this statement in a letter to the UN Human Rights Council High Commissioner Navanidhan Pillai. She has said that Navanidhan Pillai's office performed a wide task in getting a proposal against Sri Lanka approved at the UNHRC in Geneva. This has been confirmed by the email messages exchanged by Navanidhan Pillai among her representatives. Mrs. Samara Kunanayagam says that by these actions, the independent nature and other objectives of the UNHRC have been made questionable. Sri Lanka North Shehan Karunathilaka has received the award for the best Nal of the Commonwealth countries. Accordingly, he has received a prize money worth of 10,000 sterling pounds. The book authored by Karunathilaka under the title in China Band, The Legend of Pradeep Mathiv, has received this award. The story of a media person searching for a former cricket star faded from the history as being the story for this novel. The chief of the jury, Margaret Busby, has said that the doll of Mr. Karunathilaka helped to bring the award for books to a high standard. The award for the best short story has been given to the New Zealand writer, Emma Martin. The Drivers Association of Tourist Guides has said that due to the insufficiency of allowance given to them, it has become impossible for them to continue in their profession. This matter has been discussed with several parties on several occasions. They say that, however, the demands have not been met so far. There is a long history for the service of the tourist guides. They render a great service by providing the tourist with the history and the culture of this country. Earlier, foreigners functioned as tourist guides in the country. The tourist board has taken steps to provide an opportunity for the Sri Lankans to be qualified tourist guides. The members of the Chauffeur Tourist Guide Lecturers Association are also qualified professionals. They are also silently contributing to alleviate the misconceptions about the country. They are using some people without knowledge. They are really uh, really reflecting bad image about our country because all our trained people they never telling those kind of things they always give us client real things what they are expecting from arrival until the departure we always telling real things we are the one who are getting image to Sri Lanka especially Geneva problem you know and our members have done enormous service for the country during the last few years the tourist industry developed rapidly However, the main two operators have been accused of not increasing the relevant allowances. The association points out that by using people without knowledge, the quality of the service is declining. At least we need some increment for these things. That's what we are dialogue. We are asking for these people. And we hope they will look these things and keep open their eyes and they will invite us to discuss regarding this matter. The Deputy Minister of Economic Development, Lakshmanya Pabewardhan, has said that the contribution of qualified personnel are required for the tourist industry. The Deputy Minister told the Rupwahini that a special discussion will be held next Wednesday on this regard. We'll be moving in for a short break. Just